in 2010, Lisa Schubert of the Cathedral of St. John the Divine invited Frederica Foster to be the guest curator for an art exhibition that would anchor a year-long initiative about our absolute dependence upon water. The Value of Water explores how 39 artists respond to the essential role of water in our lives and the challenges raised when we forget this and engage in self-destructive acts that lead to contaminated water, drought, and floods. This art interacts with the cathedral's permanent collection. All are living contemporary artists with the exception of Mark Rothko, whose work resonates both with the spiritual and art and the abstract nature of water. As with art, in the cathedral one is moved to an experience beyond the ordinary, for sacred architecture helps create a consciousness of intimacy that transcends self to a sense of interdependence with all that exists. This architecture drove all curatorial choices, which differ from those for a museum. By contemplating this work in a sacred environment, we naturally develop a more thoughtful, emotional connection to the value of water. Cathedrals are a vital part of the history of the visual arts, and video extends this tradition and enlivens dark interior spaces. The most important concept for choosing artwork was aesthetic. Pieces chosen were inclusive enough to allow most of the half million visitors during the six months of the exhibition to experience emotionally the importance of water in their lives. Art ranges from nostalgic images of water to the impact of global climate change on our environment. Several artworks involved plastic water bottles, a creative reminder of the challenge of single-use plastics that cause great harm to the sea and to wildlife. Some work will stimulate discussions of energy production and social change, or similar effects that our choices have on access to water. An example being the devastation caused by fracking in Wyoming. The curator also refers to the first truly American art, the landscapes of the Hudson River School. Postmodern romanticism is alive in many of these contemporary artists. Like us, the Hudson River artists look north to the Arctic. Several pieces remind us of the Labrador Sea Voyage of Frederick Evan Church. Artists have brought a carefully tempered, critical, and diverse approach to considering the human role in our environment. This show, with its focus on water, conveys their insights to visitors of this spiritual place.